Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome to the next lesson in our D programming language series. In this lesson, we're going to get you set up with a D programming language on the Linux operating system. I'll show you the three different compilers and we'll install each of them. Now, it really only matters that you get one of them installed for this series so that you can continue on. But it's nice to know about all three and just have them all in one place. And there are some trade-offs between the different compilers, which I'll briefly dive into. But with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So from the D programming language website, you're probably going to notice that you can just download from the homepage here and I'll identify your operating system. So for me, I'm on an Ubuntu 18 machine right now and I can just download the dev file here. But let's go ahead and downloads and we can see the three different compilers here. There's actually a handy install script if we scroll down here for each of the compilers that we can specify. But there is a difference between the compilers. DMD is the main reference compiler that has both the front end and the back end. It's actually implemented itself in D, which is kind of cool. So we're going to go ahead and start with installing DMD, and we'll get the latest version of the download here. GDC is based off of GCC. In fact, if you have a version of about GCC 9.1 or so, you probably already have the D programming language, or you might if you've compiled it from source. If you want to see how to compile things from source, I have a few videos here, and you can go ahead and search how to do that. But I'll leave it at that here. And then LDC is the other compiler here. That's the LLVM-based compiler. So whether you want to take advantage of the LLVM infrastructure, which there's some examples for Android, for example, or maybe the GCC infrastructure, if you're more familiar with that, those are your options. But let's again start with the DMD compiler. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is let's scroll down here, and I'm just going to download the latest uh, Debian file here for my particular architecture. So let's go ahead and download it, and it happens to run pretty fast here. I'll open up a terminal here, and let's go ahead and install this package. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is do the DMD uh, install. And let me make sure I'm in my downloads directory. And let's run dpkg-i for install and DMD version 2, 1, and so on. Now, before I hit enter, you might get an error here. So if you get something that looks like this, it means you need super user privileges. So if you're not the super user on your machine or you're on a campus or something, you might have to ask someone to install this for you. But with that said, I have the privileges, so you can go ahead and install here. And it looks like we have the D setup here working just fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and need some sort of Hello World program to practice this on. And luckily I have one here. Let me just navigate to my handy directory here. And I have a Hello World D program shown here. So it's nothing too complicated. It's just going to basically print out hello and welcome just to make sure that our compiler is actually working. So let's actually split the screen here just so we can have that available to us, our main program here. And let's go ahead and give this a compile. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here here is just type dmd main.d and I'm going to give this an output name. So let's just do something like prog for instance. If I hit enter and you don't get any errors, you should be able to run the program and see the equivalent message here that we're writing out to standard output right there. All right, so awesome. At this point, you can actually just end the video and continue on with your de-learning language. That's probably against the YouTube algorithm for me, but uh, that's fine. But if you want to keep watching, let's go ahead and take a look at those other compilers, LDC and GDC. So again, you're welcome to build GCC from scratch. And if you have a latest version here, like version 11 or beyond, you can probably have the GDC compiler installed as part of that. But let's go ahead and take a look here at the GDC compiler. And if I scroll up here, let's go ahead and go to the downloads page here. And let's see from the GDC project, we have a few options. We can get the Linux distribution here. So let's see what's on Ubuntu here. And I'm on 18.04, and it looks like it has a few versions here. It might be a little bit older, so again, it might be more useful to do GCC. Now, some of you might have GCC-D as, as an option that you can actually run as a compiler. So that might be one option. Also, if you just do GDC, your package manager might find this. But otherwise, you can go ahead and choose a specific version and install the dev just like we did. Let's go ahead and just install GDC here, and let's see how far we get here. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And it looks like it's giving us a reasonable version of GDC here. But usually we'll want to be on the cutting edge later on in our development. But for this series, it's not really going to matter if we just want to get started with GDC here. So again, we have the same issue, no input files. But let's go ahead and just see what version was installed here. 
it looks like version 8.4. So that's a little bit older than uh, what I might have here. Uh, in fact, quite a few years older, so we might want to upgrade that later. But let's go ahead and just make sure that that works with our uh, previous Hello World example, just so that we can get started. So I'll navigate into our directory. And again, you just need some sort of Hello World program that we can test this out on. In fact, let's go ahead and see what we had here, and we can compare. So let's try GDC main.d-of, the same flags here. I'll hit enter, I'll run, and hello from the D series. So it looks like everything worked. Now, in order to uh, do this experiment, it looks like I did make a little bit of a tiny mistake here. F equals prog. Hmm, let's remove some of these here and just kind of clean up our program here. So I want to remove uh, this thing and let's remove our main.o here, being careful not to delete it. And now let's go ahead and rerun our uh, command here. So if I do this and then ls and then I do dot slash uh, f program here, then I'm getting my hello here. So we have to be a little bit careful here with some of the flags here. So if you're used to GCC and have been following my C or C++ series, for example, we want to use some different flags here. So let me go ahead and remove this here and just run GDC. And we just need the dash O flag. And now we have our hello series here. Okay, so just keep in mind, again, if you're more familiar with the GCC or the uh, DMD flags, what you're actually using here. So one way you can check this, again, GDC and do something like uh, help here and see some of the different options. And if we scroll here, we can see sort of the uh, different options that we might have to compile. Again, not everything supported. This is the particular one that we cared about for our output file here. So let me go ahead and exit this. And just to give a comparison that the DMD compiler has some different options, let's go ahead and do DMD help here. And again, you'll see some different options here. In fact, you'll see quite a bit of different options here in the reference compiler. Now, there are actually some different tools in DMD, and that's why I'm going to tend to use that here. Because, for example, there's unit tests and code coverage tools built into this compiler that you can just use here. Let's find that flag here that we are using for our output uh, file name, and you can even change things like the directory. Overall, again, with the D language, things have been thought about, and I think this is a more clear flag anyway. But again, you might be used to the GCC flags. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at our last compiler here, which is LDC. And if you go to the download page, this will bring you to the wiki entry. And the recommended install is through this script. Let's go ahead and try it and see if it works. It may work or it may not work for you. But let's go ahead and try. And I'll go ahead and run it here. And it's just going to take a minute here. And we can see that's just getting one of the latest releases of the LDC compiler here. So what do we have here? Let's try LDC. Hmm. It says that it wasn't found here. So we have to use LDC with a, a particular command here. Again, we should always read here. So let's go ahead and run this command activate. And I'll go ahead and run this. And well, let's see if we have LDC now. Hmm. Okay. So just a brief note from what we did at the very start, remember that we downloaded the version 2.1 version compiler. So let's go ahead and just type LDC, hit tab a couple times, and aha, there's the culprit 2 here. So we're using LDC 2 here. Okay, so again, let's go ahead and run LDC 2. Let's go ahead and try with our main file here. And let's go ahead and remove this program. And again, let's go ahead and since we're in the LLVM infrastructure, run LDC main output program here and let's go ahead and see if this works and again i've got to type ldc version 2. hmm okay unknown argument here so let's go ahead and see what we have here maybe it matches the d version aha and it does so ldc is a little bit more in line here and the reality is, to my understanding, that the LDC project has a little bit more folks working on it, so you might find this difference. So again, there's some subtleties between these different tools here, uh, but overall, we're going to be using the DMD compiler in this series because it 
it's a reference compiler, so we know it's going to sort of work and it's what it's going to be implemented on. The other compilers, LDC and GDC, tend to be able to generate some really optimized code, though, because they're leveraging those other ecosystems. So we did a little bit more of a deep dive than you might have expected in this series, but I hope it was helpful to learn about LDC2, GDC, and of course, the DMD compiler. So with that said, folks, I hope you found this interesting. I hope this was useful, maybe more information than you even needed to know. But make sure that you go ahead and download a compiler that'll work with you and try that particular Hello World demo so that you can get started. And as always, make sure that you like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe so you don't miss the other lessons as we're very early on in this series. And I'll see you in the next one.